Eric, back on the naturopath. Thanks for coming back. We're still talking about fatty acids, omega 3s, and various types of fats. We're going to talk about conjugated linoleic acid, or CLA, which is the, one of the, the big of the omega 6 fatty acids. Linoleic acid is actually the top one, but CLA, conjugated, just refers to the arrangement of the double bonds, you know, or the structure. And so CLA is predominantly found. Um, you'll find it in cows and rumnants, you know, sheep, goats, animals like that, particularly uh, high amounts in these animals if they eat grass. So grass-fed cows, for example, have got up to three, four, five hundred percent or even greater CLA uh, output in their milk than grain-fed animals do. So CLA does have some uh, merit because some studies I've read show that it certainly does help to reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes and cancers and also different types of inflammation in people. But you don't want to have too much omega-6 in your diet either. You want to have plenty of omega-3 in your diet. So having a ratio, preferably, <coughs> excuse me, of one part omega-3 to say one or two parts of the omega-6 is not bad. But you don't want to have a one part ratio of omega-3 to say 30 or 40 parts of omega-6, which is currently what a lot of countries have, you know, with their processed kind of diets. So CLA does confer some benefits. You may also have heard that CLA or conjugated linoleic acid um, can help people with weight loss. But the problem is it doesn't work as well as you've been told that it works. And many patients I've seen over the years who are taking large amounts of CLA to lose weight if they got sick. Some end up getting liver problems and all kinds of hassles, constipation, bowel problems. So just be careful taking large amounts of any fat to lose weight. It's a not a good idea. You're better off controlling your weight through, you know, carefully controlled portion sizes and the type of foods you're eating and the body movement and, you know, all the, the standard stuff. <clears throat> so if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. So, yeah, I've just made a note here. I don't recommend taking CLA for weight loss. Many studies refute these claims. Um, other studies talk about significant weight loss, which weight loss, which I've not really seen in people because of it. So, just be careful with that. So, CLA is good to have in your diet, but again, you don't want to have too much common sense. <clears throat> so, if we look at the difference between CLA and fish oil, obviously, fish oil is going to contain different types of fatty acids, notably. Um, you know, we're talking about alpha linoleic acid, ALA. So not linoleic, but linoleic. And we're also talking DHA and EPA. So these are essential to have in the diet. CLA is not considered essential because it's an omega-6. Thanks for tuning in.